On this week's Contract Admin Tip, we are going to cover the contractual considerations for pilots who decide to resign from Southwest. Obviously, there are many things that go into the decision to resign, but with respect to our contract, the two main points to consider when submitting a resignation are the pay for remaining trips on your board and the pay associated with accrued vacation. Before discussing the pay aspects, however, it should be noted that the decision to resign is final, as according to Section 3B4A, a pilot that resigns from the company shall forfeit all seniority rights, and his name shall be removed from the master pilot seniority list. Also of note is that there is no contractual requirement to give advance notice that you are resigning. With respect to pay, a pilot who gives notice of resignation may be permitted to fly the remaining trips on their board up to the date they specify they will be leaving. However, recent practice has been for chief pilots to pull all remaining flying on a pilot's board at the point they submit their intent to resign. Moreover, the company has decided to only pay originally awarded trips remaining and not those trips that have been acquired through open time or trip trade giveaway regardless of the pilot's intent to fly them. SWAPA disagrees with this contractual interpretation and has submitted a grievance to stop this practice. With this in mind, however, you must take into consideration that depending on the result of the grievance, you may not get paid for the extra flying on your board that gets pulled after you submit your resignation. With respect to vacation pay, according to Section 11A7, the year in which a pilot leaves employment with a company they will be paid for vacation accrued during that year and any vacation remaining from the previous year. Therefore, along with the trips pulled, you should receive pay for any remaining vacation days you have during the remainder of the year you resign, as well as any remaining from the previous year. Understandably, submitting your resignation can be a very difficult decision, and it is important to know your contractual protections. If you are considering resigning and have questions regarding your pay or other contractual issues, please give us a call or send us an email.